So orange and teal is by far the most famous color grading effect. So in this video, we'll be talking about how you can get that orange and teal look on your photos using Lightroom Mobile. You can also do the same thing on Lightroom for PC. It doesn't really matter because it's ultimately the same thing. So we'll be using a Lightroom Mobile on an Android device for this one, but you can just follow along with any device. So in case you are new over here, my name is Prithviraj and you're watching PR75K and I upload videos regarding content creation and other stuff. So if that's something that interests you, I'd really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button for more such videos like this. And also you can check me out on Instagram for other content maybe and also if this video gets 200 likes i'll be giving it away as a free preset so go hit that like button so firstly import your photo in adobe lightroom so it doesn't really matter if you're using this on your pc or android or ios it's basically the same thing for each devices to begin with we'll just adjust the light settings a bit this thing you don't need to copy because it will vary based on how bright or dark your photo is this one is rather in the brighter side i feel so I'm just gonna increase the contrast and decrease the highlights and the shadows so that I get a more darker and depth picture. If you like your photos to be bright, you can leave it that way, but I prefer making it a little more darker. This is the before after kind of thing. Now let's go to the tone curves and now just create an S curve. So basically just hit three points like this and just increase the highlights and crush the shadows a bit. So it will create kind of an S. Now go to the blues and uh, do the same thing. So increase the highlights of the blues a bit so that the blues pop out even more. Now go to your color section and then go to your HSL slider. Now go to the yellows and make them more towards orange and you can even increase the saturation a bit. And no one likes greens it seems so just drag it towards yellow and decrease the saturation. Now go back to the orange and you can just increase the luminance a bit to make the model pop out even more. So our face gets a little more contrast. And now go to the blues and make it more towards teal. Just don't overdo it cause it will look completely artificial. So we're kind of trying to avoid that. Just a little bit of teal should be enough. And you can also decrease the saturation a bit if you feel that it's looking too bright. Now I'll be just increasing the clarity just by a bit. And you can even add a vignette if you want to. Like I prefer adding a vignette. I don't know how to explain it. Like it basically gives more focus to your subject. So in this case, it's the model over there. So it is just creating a subtle effect that will give more importance to the subject itself. All these photos are very vibrant, so you can increase the vibrance a bit, or you can even increase the saturation if you wish to do that. But I think vibrance works the best. We don't need to add sharpening cause we already increased the clarity a bit. Now what I feel is that uh, we can make this photo a little more contrasty. So I'm gonna do that. And that's basically it. I'm kind of happy with the result. So this is the before and after. And there we have it. Orange and teal is applied and this is Instagram ready by default. So yeah, smash the like button so that I can give this away as a free preset. So as you see, that was pretty simple to get that look of Sam Holder or Orange and Teal or whatever you want to call it. As I said previously, I'll be giving this away as a free preset. So go smash that like button. And yeah, also subscribe to my channel for more such videos like this. And I will catch you guys in the next video very soon. Till then, have a great time. Hasta la vista.